Hey guys and welcome back again to my channel, The Appalachian Home. So today I wanted to talk to you about design space. I get all kinds of questions about what design space is and how to use it and how much it costs especially to use it. So I wanted to go over some questions today um, such as what is design space, how does it work, how to create projects in it, how to send it to your cutter, how much does it cost to use it, and things like that. So we're gonna be going over all those questions today about design space. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. And today's video is sponsored by Crazy Kit, so I want to give them a thank you for sponsoring today's video. We'll go ahead and get started with what is design space. So design space is a design program. It's an app that you use with Cricut Cuttings Machines. You'll see the maker I have here behind me. I use this one all the time. And Design Space is the program that I use to cut all of my designs out with on my machine. All models of Cricut machines, such as the Explore Air series, the Cricut Maker, and also the Cricut Joy. So if you have purchased one of these machines or thinking about purchasing one of these machines, you will need to download this program, which is free to download and use with your machine. Just go to design.cricut.com to find the correct version for your computer. You can also find versions for phones if that is what you're gonna be using to design, and you can also find the version for iPad. If you don't have a Cricut right now, you can still download this program and try it before you buy a Cricut machine. And then once you've downloaded Design Space, you can set it up according to what machine that you have. And for new owners, your first month of Cricut Access is free. And we'll go into Access in just a minute, but you can use Access, which includes all of the fonts, images, and projects in Design Space for free for your first month. So Design Space works with your Cricut cutting machine so that once you have designed a project, you can send it directly to your cutter to be created. Now we're gonna go over how do you create projects in Design Space. First, you wanna open a new project in Design Space. Just go to the home screen and click on new project. Then there are two ways you can create projects in Design Space. So the first way is to use images, projects, and fonts already pre-installed in Design Space. You can look through Cricut's projects in Cricut Access and search through categories. You can also search through specific categories, or you can type in a specific project if you know what you want to do. These projects also come with a list of materials you will need to do the project, as well as a step-by-step -step guide to follow to complete the project. And also these are listed by level of difficulty so you know what kind of project and level of difficulty you are getting into. You can also search for images that you're interested in creating. If we type in sunflower, there are a bunch of images to choose from. You can filter your image search on the left by searching for only access images, images that are for cards or mugs, and you can also filter by the type of operation you are doing if you want to draw a project or cut a project. You can also filter through complexity and even the material you will be using. Fonts are another pre-installed feature you can use in Design Space if you just want to type out words or phrases. There are also some free fonts for you to use, including the ones already installed on your computer. The second way to create projects in Design Space is to upload your own images or fonts. On your canvas, you can select upload. Then you can click on upload image and select a file or image you want to create. The two types of images you can upload to Cricut are vector images and basic images or raster images. There's a great video on Cricut.com that I will link below explaining in detail what these files are. Here I'm uploading a PNG of a sunflower and PNGs and JPEGs are great to use with Cricut's print then cut feature. So now you can print these out on a regular printer, place them on your mat, and cut these out with your machine. 
The other types of images and files you can upload to Design Space are called vectors, and these are also known as SVGs. They can be uploaded directly into your canvas, and they can be resized up or down infinitely, which means they do not lose quality no matter how large or small you resize them. They also have a smaller file size than basic images, which makes it quicker to upload into your canvas. You can also install fonts on your computer and Cricut will recognize them in the font menu when you are choosing fonts. Most commercial fonts I have installed on my computer work well with my Cricut machine. So now we'll talk about how do you send an image to your Cricut machine to cut. And I'll go over here on the screen record the steps that you need to do to send a project to your machine. So once you have finished your project and are ready to create it, it's really simple. You would just go up top and select the make it icon. You'll see all of your different colors and layers listed on different mats as you are going to cut them out. Next, you'll need to select your correct material setting. If you're using vinyl, you'll select your vinyl, load your mat, and then you're ready to send it to your machine to cut. Okay, so now let's talk about how much does it cost to use Design Space. And I get this question all the time. Um, is it free? Is there a cost? And there are several answers here. So first we'll go over the free version. For those of us who have already had a machine or purchased a machine before December 31st, 2021, you will be able to upload a unlimited number of projects and images up to Design Space for free for the lifetime that you have your machine. Cricut Access is a monthly subscription to Design Space that allows you access to all of Cricut's images, all of their fonts, and all of the projects for, I believe it's around $10 a month. They do have hundreds of images and projects. I personally have used some of their projects. Um, I use a lot of their images. For new users, your first month of access is free when you purchase a machine, and then after that, you will either opt in or opt out to pay the $12 a month to use access. And as far as images after that period, images usually cost between $1 and $3. The fonts usually range from about $4 to $7. So if you have any more questions about um, the cost associated with Cricut or any of these questions, what is design space and things like that, just leave them in the comments. This is kind of a general video showing you um, what Design Space is, how it works. So if you have any other further questions, leave them in the comments and I'll try to get back to you guys on those. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next video.